Hi guys, back with another video. Look what I just picked up. A beautiful new avocado tree that is uh, over two meters tall, around seven feet. Yep, here at our local market. Look at that. Can you believe it? In such a little pot. Tiny little pot. Grafted bacon. I've had a bacon before, but didn't make it. Back in the day when I didn't know what I was doing. So I'm well pleased. To give it another go as soon as i saw this beauty i had to have it so we're gonna be potting up into that bigger pot i was gonna put it in the ground because march is usually when i plant out my tropicals or subtropicals but uh i think i'll leave it in the pot until next march for another for a year but it's a, a beauty the leaves were a little um, sad when I got it but it's rained here the last few days and I left it in the rain so it can perk up plus you know what do you expect with a pot that small so it's easily two years old maybe in its third year yeah, I'm excited for a, a new avocado grafted because uh, my Pinkerton and lamb has aren't looking good guys especially the lamb has so I want to be one step ahead of the game in case I lose them to have uh, a replacement alright, let's get um, transplanting so like I did with the jackfruit seedlings last week we're going to be mixing in perlite that's going to be a standard feature now from now on with all the subtropical tropicals not the not the pears and apples they don't need any help they're not sooks sooks are um, these guys they're draining issues right so once again um, perlite and this is a, a bulk bag which I got on uh, eBay uh, next time I'll get the medium coarse uh, sorry the medium um, size instead of um, the coarse size this is a little too big uh, as I didn't know there were different sizes so now I know so I go for medium instead of coarse with a perlite I'm gonna take the opportunity to also uh, upsize this uh, Suriname cherry into a bigger pot well overdue for the last year it's totally outgrown its pot as you can see look at that huh it's probably root bound when I get in there so we're doing that today too that's the uh, Brazilian cherry, Suriname cherry. Okay, I've got the mix ready. It's about 20% perlite and 80% potting mix, premium, organic. So you can also add a bit of sand in there if you want and other amendments, but I think this is enough. It's only a short term, guys. It's only for about a year or two. So... I basically put the the pot in even with a new pot right so we're gonna have about one to two inches of um, two inches of depth from the top of the pot here to the soil over here two inches is enough there's the uh, 
the original seed for the rootstock. Can you believe it's still there? The seed um, case of the um, avocado. Wow, it slipped out so easily. Look at that. No effort at all, it just slipped right out. Like a glove. But I don't wanna, and it's not root bound, which is excellent. So I don't wanna disturb the soil here, or the roots. I don't wanna go disturbing anything. I wanna leave it intact. I don't see any knots, or any um, issues with the roots. The same underneath. So I'm gonna just let it be and just fill in with soil around it. And that's it. It's going to be here in its new home for a better year, maybe longer, not sure. I don't um, time these things exactly. By the way, that's a pretty good price. That's around 50 American dollars. A bargain. So, there it is in its new home. So now you know how I transplant my trees from a small pot to a large pot. The only difference being now I'm using perlite for the tropicals and subtropicals, the sooks. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this uh, educational informative video. And uh, please come back again for the next video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the videos and to the channel so I can keep making more videos and so that you can uh, be notified when I have a new video. Bye bye now.